But we are here to talk about your book. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tasha Rain from Princess to Porn Star. If you guys can look, it's on the b- bookshelf behind her. There you go. Um, and tell us a little bit about what inspired you to write this book. Oh, my goodness. So I wanted to write a book for a while while I was performing in movies because I thought it was interesting. Like the job was curious and fascinating and I really wanted to write a book about it. But then I got to USC and I got to choose a thesis and my thesis was the book proposal. So it made it a lot easier to write the book because I had the proposal after graduation. Mm. However, the actual book that came out has almost nothing to do with what I thought I was going to be writing about. I was like, I'm going to make this like fun, positive book about like kind of my trajectory into porn and inspire other women to maybe do it, maybe not, just like kind of shed a light on the adult industry in a good, positive way. But as you know, when you write, you don't control the writing, Mm -hmm. right? It's just pen to paper. This is what's coming out. And unfortunately, it really became so dark so quickly. I didn't even, there was so much more I could have written, but it just all of a sudden became like chapter after chapter of these traumatic things. And they were nuanced because they're not like so jarring and crazy that, you know, crazier things haven't happened to other people. It was just, I went to write this story about my experience in the porn industry and a lot of trauma came out in the writing. And I didn't realize that until the end of the book. (laughs) However, I'm really happy I did it because I feel like almost like this weight has been lifted where I'm like, oh, I got that out. Thank God. It's off my shoulders and into the pages. And so I did the audible for it the other, like recently I recorded it and I was jarred. I was like, oh my God, did I really say this? Why did I write this? this is crazy. I shouldn't have said that. And I had all of like that. It's like a vulnerability hangover kind of feeling. But, um, but yeah, I'm really proud of her. Yeah. So you found it to be a cathartic process. Very. Yeah. And then tell me about, um, your actual writing process. Cause I know a lot of people who've written books say that they have to like set a schedule because otherwise you'll kind of start and then just like drop off. (laughs) Did you have to like really be on yourself and like set a date of like, okay, this is when I'm going to be done. No, but the next book for sure. I'll do that because Mm. that is such a great point that you need to like have a schedule (laughs) where you write. Yeah. No, no, I did that where it was like, oh, I would just drop off. And then I'm like, oh, I got to come back. I've got to reel it in and come back. So then how long did it take you to write the book? I mean, a couple of years, but I was pregnant through the writing of the book and, um, yeah, I mean, it, t- it took longer than it should have because of that issue that most writers, a lot of writers have where it's like, you know, you get sidetracked, you think there's other things to do in the day and you're like, no, I'm on an actual deadline. Like I'm supposed to be turning in work. Mm-hmm. So it was a struggle for me for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What did you, when you finished and you were done with the book, what do you think is like the takeaway from the book? I hope that the takeaway for the reader is that consent is the most important part about sex, period, and that the conversation around sex and consent needs to happen in their home and with their family, and it's critical to, like, the safety of a person, and also that, you know, if they didn't, if they had a perception of adult stars, I hope that if they read the book and it's somehow different. They're like, oh, it's like more of a humanized person that is in these like films that we jerk off to. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are porn stars that people do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, where can people find the book? You can find the book on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Audible, anywhere you buy your books. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Tasha, thank you so much for coming on. It's thank been such a pleasure to see you. Um, can you let everybody know where they can find you online? You can find me on, I don't know. Wait, wait, where? Social media or? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I think mostly social media plugs. Oh, okay. So find me on Instagram at Tasha Rain's Life and at Twitter on Tasha Rain. Yeah. 
Fantastic. And don't forget that you can buy her book on Amazon, at Barnes & Noble's, wherever you get your books. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.